and now we're going to Germany. As you all know, um, you know the Angela Merkel policy in the 2016-2017 uh, years of her mandate, um, her policy of welcoming a lot of migrants definitely uh, was very much talked about. And um, the consequences in society were apparently um, taken um, very seriously by the Ministry of Culture itself that decided to tackle that issue from the perspective of the Ministry of Culture. And so they decided to subsidize and implement and, and tackle the issue of migration and integration of migrants in society um, by founding uh, specific projects like the one that we are going to be hearing about uh, just right now. So I'm welcoming Tamara Makkal and Zilke Lehmann from the University of Applied Science of Osnabrück. And so hopefully, uh, Tamara and Zilke, you can hear me properly. Yes. Sounds good. Hear you. So now I'm giving you the floor and please let us know a little bit more about this project with migrants and the way that you used music and the arts to have them learn uh, German as a second language. Ah, I can see myself now. <laughs> Hello. <Hi. laughs> so thank you very much for the invitation. We are glad to present our collaboration project, Music and Cultural Participation, which took place before the pandemic. So um, can you turn on our PowerPoint presentation, please? Thank you. In the center of the project was a course in the field of second language acquisition for refugees, combined with musical activity. The next slide, please. In 2018, the Ministry of Science and Culture of Lower Saxony put on a funding program for language learning for refugees, added with cultural elements. The Catholic adult education in Osnabrück has an expertise in offering courses of topics in language learning, health, education, religion, and culture. This educational institution turned to the Institute of Music of Hochschule Osnabrück to ask for a collaboration um, in order uh, to combine language learning and music. Students are trained to a profession as educating artists. Music students invest considerable amounts of time and energy in the perfection of instrumental and vocal skills, while simultaneously learning to teach um, musical skills to others. As this music teaching covers all age groups and highly diverse target groups, um, relevant practical experience is an important component of their studies. Two of these students were singers studying in the field of pop. Four music students belonged to the study program Elemental Music Education. The language teachers were two master students of the University of Osnabrück, experienced in teaching German as a second language and with students of different cultures. The participants came from very different countries and they had very different degrees of education. Next slide, please. The music lessons have been structured, many sided, and integral, as you can see here in the list of subject areas. To rehearse a round dance, for example, offered the participants an opportunity to get into conversation. They had to make sure that direction, instructions, and counting have been understood. In the following short video, you can see how the participants practice count out loud and how they are happy about success. It was filmed before the pandemic and at this time it was important not to show their faces. So please turn and have a look at the little video. Uh, 
Here you can see the progression of the project. The participants had lessons three times a week, 90 minutes language, followed by a little break, and then 60 minutes music. It became evident early on that we had overestimated the value and importance of music for the course participants. Within the first week, one participant expressed her wish to partake only in the language lessons, more than the music lessons. Repeatedly, participants took the break and change of rooms between the language and music lessons as an opportunity to leave. While language was considered important in order to find work and overcome financial hardship, the meaning of making music was, to some, not immediately clear. The motivation increased the moment work began on a performance contribution for the Festival of Cultures of the city of Osnabrück. This goal affected a new intensity and earnestness. The group rehearsed various songs with instrumental accompaniment and a musical theatrical staging for the performance. Embedded within this, the course participants spoke short, very personal statements that had been prepared in the German lessons. The next slide, please. Another highlight was the recording of a song whose text was written by the participants. The performance and recording work enhanced the motivation to train vocabulary and rehearse lyrics. The whole group developed the performance together and in this common process they needed to talk and to make lots of agreements. Just get an auditory impression of the song and if you want you can read some quotes. Next slide please. Mit mir tausend Gefühl in der Fuhr und in all den ganzen Jahren warst du das Sprache in die Welt. Du lass mich tanzen, lachen, weinen und egal wo ich auch bin, lass mich vergessen und erinnern, vor was wir stehen und wer wir sind. Du bist Musik in meinen Ohren, du bist der Rhythmus in meinen Blut. Du bist die Melodie des Lebens, wenn du da bist, geht's mir gut, dann geht's mir gut. Oh, dann geht's mir gut. Next slide, please. Here you can see the different and manifold skills of the team members. It was a special benefit that our project manager took the responsibility for planning and organization. Also, she had a competence in counseling and was able to support the participants individually. It was enriching to have a music student in our team who had her origin in Syria. She was an expert for Arabic culture and could help when there were problems or questions about cultural differences. Please turn. Why combining language acquisition and music? Because tempo, pitch, rhythm, dynamics and timbre characterize both music and verbal utterances. The music of speech promotes language comprehension, it regulates communication processes, and it clarifies word boundaries. Jean-Luc Levrois spoke about it uh, earlier on. Mm. 
It is a common perception that utterances in a foreign language initially appear to be an uninterrupted stream of sounds. Only gradually are we able to listen in and identify first words. The prosodic elements which give the language a musical character help us to achieve this. Next slide, please. In former times, communication, sharing information can be assumed to ensure survival. Singing and dancing together can be seen as an ideal activity in which emotions are shared and a common form of expression can be found, which in turn establishes connection and trust. One final aspect should be considered. Songs, especially those which have a repeating chorus, not only engage the attention of learners through their musical form, but also provide the redundant information necessary to develop initial implicit knowledge of the semantics and grammar of the new language. Next slide, please. Here you can read some of the conclusions which have been very important and noticeable for our whole team. We all benefited from the project for various reasons, especially our music students gained a lot of insights in working with this special target group. In putting on a similar project, German lessons and music lessons should not be separated. Teams should be built consisting of one language and one music teacher teaching side by side. And doing this, musical elements and exercises would support the language training more. The teachers would have mutual insights in their domains. And the particip participants would experience the close connection between music and speech by itself. Projects like this are a great chance for getting insights in interdisciplinary work, in the problems of migration, and in the power of music. Thank you. The last two slides, please. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, to both of you for sharing all the different details of this very inspiring project again. Um, we have just a few minutes, just a little time um, for a few questions. And um, my first question to you would be, I noticed that you mentioned the fact that you had professional help when it comes to uh, psychological or cultural differences aspect of the project. Was there any, mo at any moment, was there situations in which you were facing the reality of, for example, trauma that uh, these migrants had gone through? How did you turn around these difficulties? Um, we had this um, project manager with this uh, profession in uh, counseling, and this was very important that she um, could deal with every participant individually about these problems and she really helped and then she kind of um, told us the whole team what was important for us but she could deal with these problems and this was um, very important uh, for our project um, yeah it was very important Yes, and we hadn't uh, faced any traumas, uh, but we experienced um, that there were great problems um, for some women from Syria, especially. They were not allowed in their culture to dance together with men. And we didn't realize it at the beginning. Um, and our student from Syria could explain it to us. So we, we understood it. And she, uh, she could explain it to us, uh, but she could explain it to the participant as well. So she, this was um, very important to have this, these different experts um, together. To help you out on this project. Uh, we have a contribution yeah. online from one of our um, audience members. Thank you. Wahe uh, Bekar, that is congratulating you uh, for this very innovating innovative project um, and saying that it's a way to learn a language that is quite original 
with through arts, so through a universal language. Um, this person has questions about how often um, has this project taken place? Has it gone on once you know the language steps, the goal of learning the language was achieved? Uh, I think it's great if you give us just briefly a little insight about how long-term or uh, punctual was this project. It was a pilot project, so we had the chance to um, make the first steps and um, I think just because of the pandemic situation we um, could not develop um, more and more so um, unfortunately it was just only taken place once and hopefully um, yeah so a pilot project that hopefully will be um, taken over again once the uh, pandemic is over and once the situation is a little more settled so hopefully yes. you guys will be able to uh, to build from this first experience congratulations thank you so much